ibim kenaya nugan e jinim naya lak umnan mege bomo gala apayan ni lama imi amka angap memgam gamgi nina gegwan am nerna hanak That's excellent news. Mim ilik meraka, nayenaram. Kam kalu amik manik. Mana la yang perlu. Amka kalami naya kira nubua. Excuse me. Yes, could I speak with you for a moment? I don't mean to trouble you, Jedi. But I'm curious if anyone from the ship's crew has come to speak with you yet. I haven't spoken to any members of the crew. But anyone who needs the help of a Jedi will have it. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. I heard a rumor that there's an Imperial warship following us. I know, I know, the Treaty of Coruscant. But I don't trust the Empire to keep the peace. We should always be on our guard against the evils of the Sith. It's good to hear I'm not the only one concerned about the Imperials. The crew won't tell the passengers anything at all. It's not very reassuring. Telling the passengers that Imperials are nearby would only cause a panic. I suppose. Still, I think it's unsettling to think that there might be Imperials behind us. Warning! Warning! Incoming fire! All hands! Brace for incoming! Repeat! All hands! Imperials seem to have forgotten about the treaty. I knew the treaty would break eventually. But I didn't think I'd actually be here to see it. Listen, you have to get to the bridge. The captain will need all of the help he can get right now. Go. Hurry. Let's just hope it's not too late to help. It's never too late to try. Good luck. Come on, Tyrus! You can make it, sir! You can make it! He's gone, sir. You're in charge now. What are our orders? Your orders? Weapons are out. Shields are out. Comms are out. There's nothing we can do. I've come to offer my services in defense of the ship. If you want to be useful, Jedi, then get out of here and stop interrupting us. Sir, we need all the help we can get. If we don't keep it together here, we're finished. Keep what together? The Imperials have us by the throat. We're as good as dead already. What's wrong with you? Are you really gonna let your ship fall to the Imperials so easily? That ship behind us is one of the biggest in the Imperial fleet. We didn't stand a chance. Sir, incoming message. The Imperial ship is hailing us. What? Oh. Well then put them on. Republic Transport SLS, this is Grand Morph Rikus Kilrin. Your defenses are entirely disabled. Attempt no resistance. We're aware of our situation, Kilran. Just tell us why you're here. Your ship is transporting a known anti-imperial terrorist and seditionist, the so-called Ambassador Vin Asara. I've come to collect her. Who? We didn't take any passengers by that name. I've never even heard of this person. <laughs> Interesting. Lying or incompetent, no matter. My agents aboard your ship have confirmed the Ambassador is there. Obviously, your agents are misinformed. The first officer just told you that there's no ambassador aboard. You'll forgive me if I don't take his word for it, my friend. Imperial soldiers are preparing to board your ship through its primary airlock. My agents will ensure that you do not interfere with them. If you attempt to stop my men from arresting Ambassador Asara, I will have every living thing aboard the Esselus killed. Where's the primary airlock? I'll stop the Imperials as they try to board. Weren't you listening? If we try to fight, they'll slaughter us. We have to cooperate. It won't matter. Kilrin has us now. He'll kill us all. He's famous for it. The only one he wants alive is the Ambassador. If Kilrin gets the Ambassador while we're sitting in his sights, we're goners. Those soldiers have to be stopped before they can succeed. I'll ensure that no Imperial soldiers make it aboard this ship. It's very brave of you to volunteer. Listen, I'm sorry I lost it earlier. It means a lot to have your help right now. Thank you. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. Maybe so, 
but we appreciate your help all the same. I'll have our security team meet you by the primary airlock. They haven't seen much action, but Commander Narlock knows his stuff. Good luck. We're all counting on you. And this is what you've been training for. The Imperials are coming, and we're not going to let them pass, are we? Sir, no, sir! And we aren't fighting alone. An experienced volunteer is going to help us. The Imps won't stand a chance. My lightsaber is at your service, Commander. Do you hear that, man? Our friend here is going to chop through these imps like nothing. The imps will cut through any second now. We need to take up defensive positions. Surrender! Victory or nothing. <laughs> Good bridge. You have to hurry. It was all a trap. The Imperials set us up. Hera, the ambassador. Tap to her at all costs. Surrender. Victory or nothing. ship is saved! I'm sorry, Commander, but that... that isn't the case. That Imperial said you're the one that they were sent to capture. Listen, that's not important right now. We have a serious problem. First Officer Hawken walked us right into a trap. The attack on this airlock was a ruse. After Hawken sent you here, Imperial Commandos snuck aboard. They were led by a Mandalorian mercenary called Iron Fist. We defeated the first group of boarders. There's no reason we can't defeat this group, too. It gets worse, I'm afraid. Iron Fist and his Imperial Commando stormed the bridge, and now the entire area is locked down tight. We have to stop the Imperials from gaining control of the ship. That's why I rushed to find you. Something has to be done. Look, what is this all about? Why are the Imperials so desperate to capture you? Because of my work. I'm a Republic ambassador. I travel to Imperial-controlled planets and convince their governments to come over to our side. Where do we go from here? We need to retake the bridge. The longer we leave the Imperials in control, the harder it'll be to remove them. I already told you, Iron Fist has the bridge locked down. There's no way in or out. Security lockdown. That is bad. Chief Engineer Salen might know of a workaround. Hopefully we can get to Salem before the Imperials. Do you know where he is? He and his team will be down in the engineering section. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. We'll need a diversion. If the Imperials notice the hatches to engineering opening, they'll flood the area with soldiers. My men and I can handle that. Form up, men! We're gonna go start some trouble. Let's get that bridge open. We'll give those imps something to think about, won't we, boys? I'll go along with Commander Narlock. Once you've cleared a path to engineering, I'll double back and join up with you there. Good luck. Whoa. You're a Jedi. Chief, hey, Chief. Look, there's a Jedi out there. You must be crazy, coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. Commander Narlock said that you might know of a way to unlock the bridge. The Imperials have sealed it off. The imps pulled the lock down? You gotta be kidding me. You really cleared this place out. I didn't run into a single Imperial on my way down here. Listen, there's no time to waste. 
Commander Narlock and his men are being overrun. We have to get the bridge unlocked now. So I've heard. I'd invite you in, but the lockdown has our door sealed too. Can you get the bridge open from there? Depends on how we go about it. Just let me think a minute. What about a reactor reset? That would disengage the security locks, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, but a reactor reset vents the engineering compartment. We'd be blown into space. Besides, controls are on the other side of the door. What else can we do to open up the bridge? The secondary conduits. They're spread around a bit, but if you shut them all down, the security will go down too. Then we'll be in business. I'll get the conduits shut down right away. There's no time to go running all over the ship. If we don't act now, the Imperials will overwhelm us. I'm sorry, Salen. We need to unlock the bridge while we have the chance. We have to reset the reactor. You and your men will be remembered. We can't send these people to their deaths, not when there's an alternative. Fine, but you're dooming everyone on this ship. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. We're trying to save the people on this ship, not kill them. Fine, who am I to argue? You crazy witch! Shutting down the secondary conduits will work, I promise! If you're going to do it, go now. The longer you wait, the more Imperials you'll have after you. I don't know how you managed it, but you did. The security doors around the bridge have opened. The bridge is open, and no innocent lives had to be sacrificed to do it. You were right. I'm sorry. Please understand, I didn't want to kill anyone. I just... it seemed like the only way to be sure. I'll go and help Narlock with another diversion so you have as little resistance as possible when you attack the bridge. You'll still have to deal with Iron Fist, though, and that's no small challenge. What do you know about Iron Fist? I only know Iron Fist by reputation, but he's been doing Grand Moff Kilrin's dirty work for a long time now. He's never been captured, defeated, or even driven back. You have your work cut out for you. The Force will give me the strength I need. Just be careful. Mandalorians always have a few tricks up their sleeves. All right. No more time to waste. Narlock, are you there? Can you hear me? Copy. This is Narlock. Set for second offensive? That's right, Commander. I'm on my way to join you now. Let's get busy right away. Good luck. I was wondering when you'd finally show up. This is it? There aren't more of you? Just give up, Iron Fist. I don't want to have to hurt you or your men. Strange view of the situation. Guess you'd have to be a little crazy to put up the fight you have. Let's vape this worthless scum and get back to work.
First Officer Hawken, do you have any spare shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't... Then that's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilrin's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. We've been fighting insane odds all along. No sense stopping now. I've been aboard warships like Kilrin's. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. Hmm. We need every advantage we can get. I don't think that's the best course of action. Look, if there's any chance I could make a difference, then we have to try. Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. Hold up a minute. I need to talk to you before you go. I just talked to Salen from Engineering. He told me what Asara tried to make you do down there. Thank you for stopping her. Sacrificing innocent people is wrong, no matter the reason. You stood up for the lives of my crew, and risked your own instead. I won't forget that. Listen, I've been thinking. I really believe this plan is going to work. But there's only one way to guarantee that we'll all make it home safe. And that's to make sure the Imperials have no reason to keep chasing us. You want me to hand the Ambassador over to the Imperials, don't you? Yes. For the sake of us all, I want you to leave Asara behind, on the Grand Moff ship. With the tractor beam down, we'll be able to escape, but Kilrin will just chase us down again, unless he's already captured his target. As long as Asara is on this ship, everyone aboard is in danger. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of risking all of our lives for that woman. Don't let your anger at the Ambassador cloud your judgment. My judgment isn't clouded. This is what has to be done. I'm sure of it. Just think about it. I'd even make it worth your while if things go the way I'm suggesting. Anyway, you'd better get going. I've held you up too long already. Good luck. Well, I've seen some incredible things in my time, but you've just topped the list. I'm sorry I couldn't greet you in person. If only you had let me know you were stopping by. If this is a bad time, we could come back later. Oh, no, not at all, I assure you. I'm quite prepared for your visit. My men will be along shortly to escort you to the accommodations I've arranged. Your men can't stop us, Kilran. You greatly overestimate your chances. Iron Fist wasn't the only weapon in my arsenal, nor the deadliest. See you soon. Greetings. At last, a real live Jedi. How I've looked forward to this. A true Sith cannot go long without a true challenge. No one can stand up against me. None of you will leave here alive. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. When I carve your heart from your chest, your fellow Jedi will sense your defeat, as will my master. 
you've clearly lost your mind. Pitiful scum like you cannot grasp the full nature of the Sith. The power of the dark side is infinite. Are you ready to face oblivion? I had hoped you'd turn back from this madness. I had hoped for a Jedi who could provide a true challenge. as batteries. In a few moments, your pathetic ship and all your pathetic friends will be nothing but floating debris. Come on, get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? Right behind you, Ambassador. Let's just hope Hawken has the hyperdrive ready. Come on. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here, now! We're safe! You did it! You did what no one else could have done. You've saved us all. We owe you our lives. Every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. It's been an honor to help and protect you all. If you hadn't been here, we'd all have been doomed. We can't thank you enough. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need. The same way you saved us. You have my thanks. You deserve far more. Ambassador Asara, it's... it's a relief to see that you made it back to us safely as well. It's a relief to be back, Hawken. I'm just glad that this is all finally over. We're finally safe. I want to thank you again for everything you've done. Heroes like you are hard to come by, and the Republic needs every one they can get. The Jedi will always be there to help those in need. Then the Republic is very fortunate to have your order for allies. I should warn you, though. Grand Moff Kilrin is never going to forget what we've done. He'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. If Kilran wants to try me again, that's fine. Just be sure to stay alert from now on. Kilran is full of surprises. Anyway, enough of that. I'd say it's about time we all relaxed a bit and enjoyed the rest of our trip. Thanks again, and good luck in the future. 